Hey Collective, today we're going to do a quick energy check-in to see if we can get some messages to my returning subscribers. Welcome back and to anybody who's new here. Thank you for joining us today. I just want to say I appreciate all of your likes, your subscribes, your comments, and everything that you share with me in the channel. If a reading doesn't resonate, please don't try to force it to fit. Please feel free to take the roles and reverse them as needed. And if anything is upsetting or it doesn't feel like it goes in your story, please feel free to leave those messages for somebody else or you can always come back and watch the message later. So... <clears throat> The first card out is distracted. This says sidetrack, change, delays. And this says confessions, unveiling, coming clean messages. So there's a change that's coming in um, around something that has been delayed. You could be receiving a message soon. There could be somebody apologizing. There could be somebody confessing something in order to have some kind of forward movement. This could be because this person is feeling hopeless at this time. There's something about them falling apart or being in despair. That could be the information that they come towards you with. That could be something that they say to you. Um, this, because, this is because this person is very conflicted um, about a decision. They could be looking at multiple choices or um, this person could be drinking a lot, but there's also something about being hot and cold. Like They're in this despair energy because they almost don't know how they are their feeling. Um, this says bluff, pretending, mask, exaggeration. So when they when they come towards you, this person could come towards you and say something like they need your help or that they are going to be coming clean about something, but this could be something that's fake. Like they could tell you some information that's not true. Um, or they could be coming in the energy of presenting themselves like they're not in hopeless energy about you or about the connection between you and them. Like they could come in more confident than they actually are with whatever it is that they're messaging you. This could be a masculine energy that you're dealing with or that this is talking about or you could be a masculine energy. There's something about a shallow decision or empty choices. There's something very heavy about somebody pretending to do something or calling your bluff or you call this person's bluff or there's something about um, the way that they're presenting isn't showing up correctly. We've got twin flame, soulmate, divine masculine out here. So this is someone that... Um, this is somebody that was on your soul's path for some reason. Actually, let me look at something. Trees. This could be someone that you have a family with where the family was broken or that there's something that, um, that has to do with your roots that are being ripped out. There's something about this happening and um, it's changed the course of the way that something is going to grow together. This could be the thing that this person comes in and tries to confess to you. They could be doing this to try to distract you or try to delay some kind of a change. But the change is here because it's already, it's like something has been uprooted. There could be children involved. This could be somebody that you were married to. Um, there's something about cultivating a fight. Whoever this is, they maybe that's what's happened. There's a fight here that has... Um, there's something that's happened where it's like there's some constant back and forth or a battle or um, something about battles and wars, like winning battles but losing the war. And somebody could come in trying to confess something to you where they could be presenting like they're going to win everything, but this is some kind of a bluff. They're presenting themselves like they're more confident than whatever it is that they're, however they truly feel, this person knows that they have lost something. And it has something to do with fighting. They feel hopeless whenever it comes to whatever this fight is. At the bottom of the deck is lessons and blessings. So there's something here with all of this where it has to do with soulmates and soul ties and something to do with the connection between you and them where there were a lot of lessons. Um, you may, may be receiving a blessing. 
Anything else? Ooh. This says communal living. This could have something to do with your home or the community around you, or there's something about the community around this person um, that's feeding into this energy of exaggeration or pretending. So this, there could be a support system that this person has around them that they are, um, like it's part of, it's contributing to their bluff, whatever that means. So it has something to do with the way that they appear. So show me distracted. This could be regarding um, a connection or there could be a decision here. You could also be dealing with a Gemini or have that sign somewhere in your chart. There could be something really heavy with distract, distracted communication whenever it comes to you and them. There could be a couple of people here. Um, there's something about a judgment and this looks like cause and effect or there's some big change here that has to do with destiny and a partnership or destiny and a connection. That there has been some kind of a delay in or something here is destined and judgment is being called on it. There's an ending here around a partnership or a connection. Um, the world just fell out. This is too many cards, but there's some something that's over. So, when the cards are jumping everywhere. Whatever this confession is, whatever um, somebody comes in and messages you, this is something that's going to make you happy or it's going to make something very clear to you as far as what you're supposed to do next or um, there's something about clarity that happens with these messages so this could be your clarity this could be the way that you see something this could be clarity around something to do with children um, you could be dealing with a Leo or have that sign somewhere in your chart this person could feel hopeless whenever it comes to something to do with their finances or stability or something material that could be the thing that's being made clear to you in these messages This conflicted energy has something to do with betrayal. So if someone is coming in to apologize or to confess something to you, you may feel conflicted because of what they're saying, because there's something about um, this person betraying you. So you may not feel like you owe them anything, or you may not feel like there's... Um, Anything that needs your particular judgment at this time because of whatever this person has done to betray you. Because there, there's something here about you seeing an ending anyway or you seeing something very clearly. There's something about calling someone's bluff. And um, this could be to avoid disappointment. Or someone's coming in and pretending like they can't do something or like they're really disappointed there's something about exaggerating about that show me communal living because there's people around them that are trying to manifest a certain outcome so whatever is being said there that could be what's made clear to you How does this person feel like they want to communicate? So about this connection, this person is conflicted. Whoever this is, is either heavily conflicted or they want to argue or fight. Um, this could be somebody who tried to put you in some kind of competition, but there's like a lot of people here. Maybe there's like infighting between them and um, this person. There's a lot of influences here. And hang on, let me see.
This can be somebody that you've had to stand up against or someone that you are blocking or somebody tried to block you. This is someone that um, it's like you feel like you have to protect yourself against whoever this person is or this person could be at a place now where they feel like they have to protect themselves from all of this infighting. They may feel like they need to protect you or protect this connection. And this could be after it's like there's something about for some of you, this connection has been it's like it's been downgraded. There's something about um, other connections that are here. And for some of you, these people, whoever they are that are in this community that they may be listening to or that are trying to help them manifest some certain outcome, there's something about these people um, pretending to be in the correct energy. Like these are people who are disappointed with their own things that they have going on in their lives that are trying to um, tell someone you need to do something a certain way. But it's like these people don't, they either don't take their own advice or they've not been successful in the area that they're trying to give advice on. So it's creating muddled energy or creating muddled um, thought processes for this person because if they're trying to take in some kind of advice from people who have already been disappointed in the use of this advice or been disappointed in the same avenue, they're, they're not really helping whoever this is. And these people don't have the same connection with you. So these could people be people who don't know you completely or they are removed from the situation. These could be people in this person's family. But there's something about um, there's no roots between you and them. So it's easy for people to fire off advice or messages or create conflict because they don't really have any skin in the game here. There's something about that, them not being connected to you. The connections are shallow. There's a lot of messages that I, I'm getting about people advising someone incorrectly because they are not connected to you at the same capacity as whoever this is. So it's like, oh, we'll just do this. And... They're not thinking about the um, the outcome or the things that this person that they're advising, the things that they would care about. They're thinking about, well, this is what I would do if I was in this position. But it's causing someone to be um, betrayed before they even try to put this advice into action. It's creating disappointment and failure before it's even gotten off the ground because it's not sound advice. So show me shallow. Yeah, there's shallow work here whenever it's coming to um, something to do with you and all of these restless people. And it's also creating a lot of waiting because it's not... It's not helping anything. There's something about um, whatever they're doing, it's also being mirrored back to them. So if someone's doing something and it's not helping this person, and then this person is taking that action and speaking to you about this or doing something with this advice, it's like, well, then you're not um, reciprocating what they want you're reciprocating what they're trying to do with your energy and your energy could just be ignoring them or blocking them because it's like it's an insens insincere and so it's creating a lot of waiting like people are waiting for their ships to come in people are waiting for something to manifest but all that's manifesting is disappointment And they're very restless. There's something about that. These people being restless whenever it comes to you. Because this could be somebody, somebody that you um, have separated from. This could be somebody that you divorced. This could be someone where there's a broken contract. And... There's also broken friendships or broken um, social dy dynamics or there's something about um, a separation of children or emotions. 
that there it's like there's the potential here for emotional fulfillment but because of the way that this judgment is being applied it's not coming in in that way for whoever this is and while this is all going on this person is thinking about you and how you're getting away and closing out a cycle and you're starting something brand new There's also something here about a plan or a collaboration whenever it comes to this person's feelings. There's a cycle that's closing and it's like it creates a fire in this person and then they want to, um, there's some kind of plan. And this could have to do with, it's like they're seeing something. Archangel Gabriel is having them see something here with the way that the cycle is closing out and it's creating an emotional awakening. So. I'm getting a lot of um, stuck energy. It's like if there's something authentic at the first layer and then all of these people are throwing in, you know, different opinions, different um, schemes. And this person doesn't know. It's like they've maybe been listening to other people. They've been distracted by other people's energy because that's been the first thing that we've had out here. Is there something about someone has been distracted by the judgment on the way that this is happening. And it has to do with people who are, who they're partnered with. But it's like these people, these partnerships are, they're not aligned appropriately. Like these are not people that they're in commitments with. It's like, these are people that they're just distracted by. Somebody could also be in a connection with more than one person. Or there's something about this person's emotions being tied up in a connection with more than two people. And with this world here, whatever happens, there's movement forward and a cycle closes out and then there's a passionate new beginning and there's also the Ace of Cups here. So it's like there's an awakening that somebody could be going through because of a new start or a new beginning. But it also has to do with this judgment card that's out here because this is Arch Archangel Gabriel. There's something about um, judgment being shown to this person and the way that they're going to understand it. And that's that's what's causing this. This judgment can have something to do with money. So for some of you, this person, it's like that's the only way that they understand anything is whenever it comes to um, finances or time or energy. They only understand material things, like things that they can see or things that they... Um, I heard things that they can lose. There's either family, assets, time, money, energy that this person is walking away from. Or this could be you. You could just be walking away from something. Yeah. And whatever it is that you're walking away from, it's bringing in a death. Or you could be taking money and leaving or taking something material and leaving. So. I guess, why does the collective need to know this? What is the overall message here? The overall message is this person is going through a place where they're taking a fall from grace or there's something about them not wanting to be seen and um, they could come in and want to apologize to you or offer something where it changes the direction of this connection. There could be good news coming towards you. There could be two children involved here. Um, but it's like there's movement here where someone either knows that they're going to take a fall from grace or there's something about um, being disgraced publicly or being disgraced amongst this community of people or amongst a community of people either because they've stabbed you in the back or done something to create a bunch of disappointment and distractions where something had to be uprooted 
regarding family or money. And so the overall message is there's somebody who's going to be offering you something, but it has to do with um, all of this distracted energy. Like they're realizing that there's, that's not getting them what they want. And there's also something about them maybe coming to the realization that these people are betraying them by not being um, in the energy of trying to help. They're just trying to seek revenge or something. There's something here about um, continuing to stay in this warlike energy. So what is the advice? You need to know that you already have something. There's something that you hold that this person is attached to. Like, you hold all the cards here. You already have it. And this has to do with your stability or your balance or the way that you're caring for something, the way, the way that you're grounded and practical. There's something about not losing that part because you already, whatever it is here, it's like this... This person could have been obsessed with trying to um, make you lose your stability. And these people could have also been that way. They could have been at a place where they were obsessed with trying to make you lose your stability. And it's like that, that was the only focus. And it's almost like because of all of the different advice or people or energy that was put into this. It's like it was too many people doing too many different directions to try to um, create imbalance and whatever this is. But you know, you need to know that you already have, you have something here. You've already won or you've already gotten what you, I'm almost getting like this was never even taken away from you. Um, and this could have to do with the way that you're seen or this could have to do with. They couldn't they couldn't shake you hard enough to make you get into this toxic energy or get into some kind of energy of attachment to something them or these people. So the advice here is just continue to main ground remain grounded and practical and stable because they're coming towards you, whether this is one person or multiple people. And it's whoever these obsessed people are. There's about to be some kind of progress that's made here with this, whoever this group is, this community. Something is being seen about someone being in regret or in despair. So that's another thing that was here. Whoever this is that was that's trying to uh, pretend that they're okay, that's also something that's going to be seen. And this could be seen because of this offer that's coming in, but there's something about them being disgraced and in despair and it being seen in the view of people. Whatever that is here that's been hidden, it's like that's gonna show up. And it has to do with you not just releasing whatever they want because it's like it wasn't theirs or you already had it or they couldn't make you chaotic. Um, you have a wish fulfillment coming in. So that's the advice, just continue to stay grounded. You do have somebody coming towards you and there's something about making progress with these group of obsessed people. Um, because someone is seeing something clearly and they could be coming in to try to confess something to you. Because it's almost what I'm getting is this person feels betrayed by all of these people around them or this hot and cold energy. So it's like the only way to get through this is to come to you themselves or offer you something that makes sense. So. You have a message coming in. This could be good news. I'm going to go ahead and close this out here. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.